This is one of multiple IP addressing and subnetting scenarios. Rather than just working out the subnets for a scenario, we're gonna work them out and then configure the devices so that we can practically design and configure a Cisco IP network. Okay, so now that we've worked out the subnets, we need to configure the devices in our network. Let's assume that the switches are layer two switches. The local area networks need to support up to 60 hosts, including an IP address allocated to the switches and the routers. So let's start with router one. On the first ethernet interface, I'm gonna no shut the interface. We need to configure an IP address. So 192.168.1. And this is why subnetting is so important. What address are we gonna to allocate to the router? So the network we're using is 192.168.1.0 slash 26. So let's assume we wanna use the last IP address for the router. What is the first IP address and last IP address in the subnet? So there are four addresses that we need to think about. We need to think about the subnet address. That's 192.168.1.0 slash 26. Then we need to work out the first IP address or first host that can be allocated. Then we need to work out the last IP address and we need to work out what the broadcast address is. So we already have the subnet address. To work out the first IP address, what you do is you set all binary bits to zero in the host portion except for the last bit. So if you look at this, that equates to one in decimal. So the first host will be 192.168.1.1 slash 26. There's our subnet, there's our first host. To work out the last address in the subnet, you fill the host portion, only the host portion, with binary ones except for the last bit, which you set to binary zero. So notice the host portion is filled with binary ones except for the last bit. So what does this equal? It's 32 plus 16, which is 48, plus eight, which is 56, plus four, which is 60, plus two, which is 62. So that equals 62 slash 26. And what is the broadcast address equal to? Now I'll talk about easier ways to work this out, but let's work it out as follows. So to work out the broadcast, what you do is you fill the host portion with binary ones, and that'll give you 63 slash 26. So you can either count up all these bits, or you do it in reverse. You say it's 255 minus 128 minus 64. This is why it's good to have this in the exam. So when you go to the exam, write this down so that you can work out the values. So this address is a broadcast address, so we can't allocate that to the router. But what we can do is allocate the last IP address to the router. So the router needs to be configured as 192.168.162, and the mask is 255.255.255.192. Remember the mask is 255, 255, 255, 192, IP address again is 192.168.1.62, which is what we've configured on the router, so I can press enter. So we've now configured the router. And as an example, we should be able to ping ourselves, which we can. And if we ping 63, that is actually a broadcast. So show IP interface, fast ethernet zero slash zero. Notice the router is configured as follows. IP address is 192.168.162 slash 26. This is all hosts, all network broadcast, but this is a local 
subnet broadcast. So again, show run interface F0 slash F0 slash zero, there's our configuration. Now we need to configure the hosts. And let's assume that we're gonna configure the first host using the first IP address in the subnet. So it's 192.168.1. So it needs to be configured as 192.168.1.1 slash 26. So 1.1, 1 .1, subnet mask is 255.255.255.192, default gateway is 62, and I'll set the DNS to the default gateway. Click Save. Let's start up that host and open up a console to the host. So here it is, ifconfig eth0, IP address of the host is configured as follows. Mask is set to the following. So ping 192.168.1.1, can ping itself. Can we ping the router? Yes, we can. Now to prove that we could do a debug IP ICMP and ping from the host to the router. You can see the pings are succeeding and we're getting a debug on the router. I'll turn off the debug, ping 192.168.1.1 router can ping the first PC. Show IP interface brief again. This is the IP address of the router. Let's configure the second PC as 61. So I'll configure that statically. As 61. Subnet mask is 255.255.255.192. Router is 62. We'll set to the DNS to the router. And start the PC up and open up a console. So here's Ubuntu 2 or PC2 IF config eth0. IP address is 61. Subnet mask is this. Can we ping the router? Yes, we can. Can we ping the other host? Yes, we can. So we've configured the IP addresses on this subnet. Now one last test, let's ping the broadcast address. Notice the option, we are told that we have to explicitly specify broadcast. And when I broadcast, the router actually replies to that broadcast, the other host doesn't but we are pinging the broadcast address when we use 63. So the broadcast isn't 192.168.1.255. The broadcast address for the subnet is 192.168.163. So we've successfully configured this subnet. Now we need to configure this subnet. And this gets a little bit more interesting because it's 192.168.164.26. I hope you found this video useful. If it was of benefit to you, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.